Time for an adventure with microscopic milk. Major Wizard helping us have fun. Yay! Oh, show old mate, you did a great job of recycling things into costumes for the gang. Ah, oh, it was nothing. Ocho made me into a lion tamer. Down, lions, down. We're not lions. Ocho made us into sheep. With old cotton balls and pipe cleaners. <laughs> Ocho here is a wizard. What's a wizard? A wizard does magic. And magic is what Ocho did with these costumes. Attention all hands, it's Sophie's song time. With bows, a costume made from worn out clothes. Nothing can be dressing up. <laughs> a silver sash, a thick mustache, an old shirt you save from the trash. Isn't it sweet dressing up? Everybody loves make believe. Everybody loves to pretend. I know I do. Hat and cane and gloves and a garter on your sleeve. It's even more fun with the friends. <laughs> I think so. A pair of boots, your mom's old suits. Those tattered rags can look like buttes. Be an astronaut or clown. Be a princess in a golden gown. Next time you're feeling down, try dressing up. Over and out, mateys. Be back soon. Have fun! Say, Ocho, where's your costume? Yeah, my costume? Oh, dear. We took everything I could find here in the lookout to make yours. There's nothing left. Uh, it's okay. At least you guys will have some fun. Now what do we do? Good idea, Seymour. Maybe we can get an idea from watching the tugs. Moving steel across the harbor is a dangerous job, one that needs to be done with great care and caution. While Zack and ZB know this, they also know that Zorin is the boss of the Zero Fleet, and when Zorin gives an order, they better do what he says. Now, listen up, you two slug tugs. <laughs> We're listening, boss. Whatever you say. I want those loads delivered before noon, you understand? That's 12 o'clock, in case you didn't know. But, Zarin, look how tall this load is. We gotta be really, really careful or it might tip. I don't care how tall it is, ZB. Just get it there by noon. Or else... Uh, or else what, boys? Or else... Uh, I'll think of something and it won't be good. We better do what he says, ZB. But... but what if... Forget about it. Let's hit the high water. It's almost noon. With time already running short, something suddenly goes wrong with Zack's engine. What's wrong, Zack? What happened? I, I don't know. It, it feels like my boiler's ready to blow. Well, what are we gonna do? We'll be late. Let me think. Let me think. I got it. We'll take a shortcut through the canal. That way, we can still make it across by noon. Good idea, Zack. You think it's safe to go through the canal? Safe? Of course it's safe. Why wouldn't it be safe? With that, Zack and ZB set off up the canal, hoping the shortcut will get them across the harbor by the deadline. Meanwhile, on the other side of the train bridge that runs across the canal, Top Hat is taking Lord Stinker to the garbage dump. Someone's gonna smell my garbage. Someone's gonna smell how good it is. And when they take a whiff of your garbage, they'll never want to sniff again. <laughs> Oh, give me a break, Top Hat. I think my garbage smells pretty good. Well, it does smell. I'll give you that much, Tinker. <laughs> Zack's plan is working as he and ZB chug up the canal. With a little luck, they'll make up enough time to deliver their load by noon, just like Zorn ordered. Unfortunately, luck sometimes has a way of turning bad. Zack, look. I think my rig's too tall to fit under the bridge. Uh, maybe not. I think you can just squeeze under. But what if I can't? I could knock down the whole bridge. 
We can't turn back. Remember what Soren said? Get the load there by noon, or else. I won't do it. I'm in charge now, and I say do it. Okay, okay, I'm going. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Top Hat and Lord Stinker bear down on the bridge from the opposite direction, where a big surprise awaits them. My word! Do you see what I see? He's gonna smash right into that bridge, or my name's not Lord Stinker! I will meet! Stop! Stop! Top Hat and Lord Stinker back up quickly so they don't get hit. The bridge! The voice engine's full of stein! I can't stop! It's too late! Oh, no! He hit it! Oh, dear. Look what I did. Oh, no. Come on, Zach. Let's get help. Frank, Top Hat's train barge could tell that whistle anywhere. It's the mail train! Now, this is what I call a problem. We've got to do something fast, or that bridge is going to collapse into the water and take the train down with it. And we think we have problems. Top Hat and Lord Stinker better do some quick thinking. Fast! I know what to do about Ocho's costume. What? One of us gives our costume to Ocho. Well... I like being a lion tamer. And we love being sheep. And I love being beautiful. And I love being more beautiful. You can give up your costume. Me? But, but I'm the idea guy. I shouldn't have to give up my costume. Aw, fix it. No one wants to give up their costume. Of course not, mateys. And Chovy, you're back. Yes, mateys. And I'm glad you don't want Ocho to be left out. But what can we do? There's nothing to make one out of. Hmm. I took a piece of curtain, a piece of an old dress, and zip, zap, snap, I have a blanket. I get it. Great idea, Anchovy. Can you guess how we're going to solve our problem and make a costume for Ocho? Speaking of problems, I wonder how Top Hat and Lord Stinkler are doing. The mail train's going to cross the bridge any second. Look, everybody. Here comes the train. The bridge could break any second. You're right, Stinker. We have to move quickly. I've got it. We can solve the problem by pulling that steel rig all the way under the bridge. It just might hold until the train goes over. Help me in, Top Hat. It's going to be risky, Stinker. Are you sure? What have I got to lose? Garbage? Let's go for it! Frank, you and Eddie stay here and keep your tracks crossed. With no way to warn the train, Top Hat and Lord Stinker swing into action. I've got to get my line around that rig. The train's coming closer. Line's secure. Let's pull. Give it all you've got, Stinker. Heave! Oh! Inch by precious inch, they pull under the shaky bridge. But can they do it in time? It's only a matter of seconds until the mail train will roar out of the tunnel and across the track. Pull, Stinker! Pull! I'm pulling! Uh, we've almost got it! If I didn't have all this garbage to lug around, I'd be a lot stronger. You're doing fine! Uh, just a little more! We, we did, did it! it. <laughs> and not a moment too soon as the train arrives right on schedule. Here she comes. I hope it holds. It's got to. Come on, you can do it. Come on, hurry, buddy. You can do it. Do it. Oh, no. It's starting to wobble. Oh, it's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. It made it. Yes. Yes. Well, of course the train made it. We found the perfect solution to the problem. <laughs> oh, wow. wow! This is the best costume ever! And the nicest part is, you made it from parts of your own costumes. Now we can all play dress up. Why'd you make me a wizard? Because, matey, when it comes to making costumes, that's exactly what you are, a wizard. Yeah! <laughs> Silky, 
I got the best idea for what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take all the stuff in this place and build a castle. Great, I love castles. I knew you'd like it. That's why we're best buds. We think alike, right? You said it. Put her there. Okay, I'll get the stuff. Don't you want help? Nah, I'll be back in no time. <laughs> Is this gonna be fun or what? Hi, guys. What's up? We're Nobody waiting for Ocho. He promised we'd play circus. We will. As soon as I picture this finish, I mean, finish this picture. There! Huh? See? I'm a circus lion! <laughs> Oh, man! Salty and I are gonna make the best castle ever! <laughs> what gives? Uh, I thought Salty was gonna play with me! <laughs> Guess we're not best buds after all. Uh, go away, Seymour. My best pal just ditched me. Okay, might as well see what's happening in Snugboat Harbor. No one to play with anyway. Being a good tugboat is a difficult job. One of the most important things a tug needs to learn is how to send out and receive very clear signals. All clear on your side, Sunshine? Uh, well, uh, I guess so. Come on, Sunshine. Good tugboats send out clear signals. I need to hear you signal everything's A-OK, -okay, or we might have an accident. Oh, sorry, Tencent. You're right. <laughs> All clear on the starboard side. Had a tug. OK, move on out. Clear sailing ahead. At night, sending signals is even more important. Lily Lightship, a good friend of Tencent and Sunshine, is famous for sending clear signals. Her beacon light is a great help to ships traveling the sea lanes at night. Like the time one very foggy evening, Lily heard a big tanker, lost in the mist and heading straight towards her. Lily tried to signal the ship with her foghorn, but the tanker was going too fast to hear her. Oh dear, I need to turn up my beacon light as bright as it can go. And she did. The lost tanker saw her light blazing brightly through the fog. And her brilliant beacon signal saved both ships. Well, that was a close one. The boats in the Zero Fleet don't send clear signals to each other at all. Worst of all is Zorin, who never listens to anyone. Today, Zug is pulling an old, worn-out tanker to the junkyard all by himself. Suddenly, he spots Zorin in the harbor. No, dear. I bet Zorin's gonna act like a big shot boat and insist on helping. And here I'm doing such a good job by myself. Zark, don't tell me a little tug like you is trying to pull that big tanker by yourself. Oh, that's a good one. Well, yes. Actually, I am. Silly boat. For a job like that, you need a big, strong tug like me. Watch out. Oh, I knew it! Now Zorin's gonna stick his big smokestack in and ruin everything! Oh, dear. What is choppy. Zorin's making us go too fast. Oh, I wish he'd slow down. Get a move on. No time to waste. We're... we're going too fast! I'm losing control! Yeah, now we're stoking. Oh, no! What's going on up there? What's this? It's the way! Mayday! Now look what you've done! Me? I told you, you're too small to move that tug alone! I was doing fine until you... Oh, never mind. Zug feels angry. He and Zorin didn't send out clear signals to each other, and now the old tanker is jammed on the rocks. Zorin quietly sneaks away so he won't be blamed for the accident. Suddenly, Zug sees Top Hat and Sunshine chugging toward him. Ahoy there, Zug! What's that tanker doing blocking our way? Oh, Zorin's pushed me too fast, and now the tanker's washed up on the rocks! That'll block the whole river! Hmm, 
yes. Bit of a sticky wicket, wouldn't you say? Sure would. We're gonna need some help to move that old tub. I'll get the other tugs. Top Hat, you stay with Zug while I go for help. Righto, Sunshine. Cheerio. Sunshine is cruising up river when she runs into a friend of hers, Billy Shoepack. Hey, Sunshine. Where are you heading so fast? Hi, Billy. We got a problem. Zug and Zoran ran a tanker aground and now it's blocking the river. No problem. I bet we can shove that old scow off the rocks in no time. Good idea. But I better spread the word. We don't want anyone to be on the other side of that tanker when we bust through. You said it. We'll be coming through there like a rocket. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Hurry and round up the other sunshine. This'll be fun. We just have to be sure that no one is on the other side of that boat when we come barging through. See you later, alligator. Sunshine spreads the word to all the Starfleet boats. Tencent stands guard in the harbor to warn any boats heading toward the tanker. Oh, no, Zoran. Don't go heading that way. Why not? Little Zug managed to run a tanker on the rocks, and I want to see what he's done about it. Imagine trying to signal a smart tug like me that I'm going the wrong way. Ten cents is always putting his two cents in where it doesn't belong. Zoran's headed for trouble. Hmm, me? I'm headed no place. Just look at all the fun Sophie's having without me. <laughs> Claude, I thought you asked Faulty to build a castle with you. I did. Guess he found something better to do. Are you sure? Did you tell Salty you're ready to play? Does he know how unhappy you feel? Well, not exactly. No wonder you feel sad. You and Salty aren't sending very clear signals today. Signals? You mean like Zorn and Zug? Just like Zorn and Zug. Zorn chugs toward the old tanker to see what's going on. He has no idea what the other boats are planning on the opposite side. Okay, is everyone ready? When I say three, we all head for the tanker. One, two, three! All the boats go full speed ahead right into the tanker, forcing it off the rocks and back into the channel. As for Zorin, he winds up on the rocks himself because he didn't listen to Ten Cent. Next time, Zorin, maybe you'll listen when somebody signals you. Yes, yes, yes. Guess I ought to talk to Sophie, huh? Maybe I'm not getting his signals right either. Claude, what took so long? I want to start building our castle. You do? Sure. I was just playing here until you were ready. No kidding. I thought you didn't want to play with me. No way. You should have told me you were ready. Oh. Well, next time, I'm going to send a clear signal. Attention all hands, it's Salty's Song Time! Uh-oh, where'd he go? Your man has sailed away. Bo -bo -bo -bo. He left you high and dry, and you, you were already played. Uh-oh, feeling low, now what do you do? Don't sit there feeling blue. got to talk it through. Don't clam up. Don't clam up. Don't Oh, merciful mollusks, what's this? Salty and Claude built it. Mmm, love the flag. Nezzy. We made two flags. A green one to say we're home. And a red one to say we're out. Green for home, red for out. Well, that is very clear. I love it when people send clear signals. Don't you, mateys? You said it! <laughs> Hello to everyone. 
every tug that chugs across the bay.